Hello, my name is Amanda Seals. I am 34 and proud of it because black don't crack. And I am a comedian, writer, performer, actress, host extraordinaire. One of the biggest things about comedy, um, specifically black comedy, like, is I feel like there's, there's, there's definitely like a, an overarching thought that says that it's kind of just like one thing. And if it's not like deaf poetry jam style comedy, then it's not considered like black comedy. And if you as a comic who is black don't perform that kind of comedy, it's like, then you lose your black title and you're called like alt comedy, you know? Or, you know, you and, and to me that was really an issue for me because like there's, there's a spectrum of, of individuals and it still speaks to the homogeny that people think of when they think of black people. It's almost like even when I go in for a lot of these auditions, it's like they think this is the only kind of black girl there is. And like, I'm only like that on Thursdays. There's such a trend of like being hypersexual for women in comedy. I mean, you look at Schumer and Nikki Glaser and like they have their own shows, like it's really popping. And it's, it's a common trend among black women comics as well with like Samore and Monique. But it's just not, it's not my thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, like I talk about sex on stage, but it's it's definitely always in the context of like being smart and then it always has a purpose. Like it's never just gratuitous, like, let's talk about these dicks. Uh, <laughs> but but there's this notion that women shouldn't talk about sex on stage if they want to be considered smart, and I think that's BS. To Santa Monica we go. Yeah, I definitely think social media has, um, has been a great help to black women in comedy because it's allowing us to write in our own voice and create our own content. So like for my web series, Get Your Life, I wrote that and produced it and started in it so that I could have a body of work that represents my voice as a writer and as a performer and that shows from the gate what I'm about. And a lot of us just don't get the opportunity to have that and to do that and so social media and uh, the web has allowed us to have this, this space where we can tell our stories because there are other spaces just really aren't creating stories for us. I can write a white girl character because I have grown up watching every kind of white girl story possible. Like Use from, the right lane to take exit 1A, then keep right. from Monica to Rachel to Phoebe. I mean, those are three very different white girls alone. But, right. but for black women, like we haven't had that kind of representation. <laughs> I don't know if that's ever gonna change. I mean, we live in a racist country. So even when people aren't trying to be racist outright, they are working within an institution that inherently is. So, you know, just by nature of what they're exposed to, there's limitations. I know a lot of really good intentioned white folks that just don't know better because they never had to. So that's why if there's gonna be any change, it's gonna come from us as creators and writers and producers stepping up and making the change. And, you know, money being put to our projects. All right, this next comedian coming to the stage you have seen on MTV and also VH1. She's a very funny comic. Get it for Amanda Seals. White girls are cursing out the cops and living. <laughs> right? I want to learn that trick. That shit's impressive. Which is why that is who we need to send to fight ISIS. Because the bullets will just ricochet off. It'll just be like, blah, 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 blah. And she's just come in drunk as shit. Like, okay. I'm fing here. Okay. Take the burqa off. Take it off. Whatever. Oh, 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 with your gun. Oh, oh. Do you know who my dad is? 
Right, that's who you're trying to run into tonight. <laughs> Careful. I told you, bro, bro audiences, man. <laughs> this was the broiest audience ever. <laughs> this is the most non-diverse crowd. I don't think there were any black people in the crowd. There weren't, were there? There wasn't one! <laughs> wow! I usually would catch that. I did not even catch that. Interesting, interesting. But they laughed, you see? They still laughed. So funny is funny.